so the, again, the purpose of photosynthesis is to make this three carbon sugar. And this three carbon sugar can be made into anything from glucose, right, to uh, cellulose, to uh, um, starch, or it could be put into, and from there it can be made into any other kind of biomolecule that, that the plant needs. But it has to be able to make this three carbon sugar. So this three carbon, how do you get to make this three carbon sugar? And of course that's made by the Calvin cycle. Where do you get the carbon to make one, two, three, car, uh, three carbon sugar? You get it from carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide comes from outside the plant in the air. It's captured in the C3 photosynthesis by Rubisco. Remember, Rubisco is, is, is probably the most important enzyme on the planet, arguably. So you really have to think about the fact that this one enzyme captures all the CO2 on the planet to be able to make every biomolecule that makes up plants and then every biomolecule that makes up animals, right? Because we can't capture CO2. Only plants can. And so the source of all these biomolecules that make up life on Earth is actually Rubisco because it's able to capture that CO2 in the atmosphere. This is inorganic CO2, where this over here is a three-carbon organic molecule. Remember, it's carbon and hydrogen. And it's that this form of carbon that we use, that life uses to keep going. Now, in order to get this CO2 into this form with all the various uh, energy, that uh, you need energy. And so where do we, what is, the, what is the, the plant or the chloroplast going to get its energy? It gets it from the sun. So the sun comes into the, into the leaf, into the chloroplast, and it goes into the thylakoids, and we talked about that in detail. And that, in those photosystems, it is able to capture the energy from the sun. Uh, in order to do that, it needs electrons, and it gets electrons from water. So water is broken up into oxygen and hydrogen ions. The hydrogen ions, using photosystem 2, uh, this energy is, is used to create a concentration gradient, a chemiosmotic gradient that, that allows for uh, ATP synthesis to make this molecule here, ATP. ATP is necessary in order uh, to enter, because the Calvin cycle needs this ATP in order to make this PGA, it's a PT, ATP, adenosine triphosphate, is the energy currency of the cell. It's the only thing that's going to make this put, be able to put energy into this molecule to allow for the carbons from carbon dioxide to come together. Now, there, there's a still a lot of energy that can, you can get out, you can squeeze out of those electrons, and so what those electrons then, the, the thylakoid uses, the plant uses another photon, to excite those electrons again, this time it turns them over to NADPH because the Kelvin cycle needs high energy electrons as well in order to do its job. Uh, the, the, the main idea here again is to make this three carbon sugar. Again, the three carbon sugar then through other chemical reactions can make glucose, cellulose, or starch or other biomolecules. So that's the, over, that's the overview for uh, photosynthesis specifically C3 photosynthesis. The details are in other videos. Uh, if you need any part of this broken down, just uh, email me and I'll make a, co I'll make a uh, copy of it. Uh, also, please reference uh, the, the uh, YouTube video we sent you from Saturday's uh, review. Thank you.